What happens if I go for broke and I just try to allocate as much memory as I possibly can? Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I wanna to do another what if question and today's question focuses on memory. But first off, I just wanna note that my channel actually recently hit 100,000 views, which at this point proves to me that people watch this channel other than my mom. Thanks mom. This started out as a hobby. I posted a few videos for my students and my classes and it's grown and, and it's really fun to be able to reach out to students that are outside of Clemson University, get to know people on different continents and different countries. And so thanks for watching. So back to today's topic, most programmers have allocated memory. You call malloc, you pass in the number of bytes you want, and you get back a block of memory and you can put whatever you want in it. Integers, floats, strings, whatever. But what happens when malloc says no? To test this, I wanna write a simple program. So in a loop, I'm going to malloc a gigabyte of memory over and over again until malloc fails and returns null. And just to see what's going on, I'm going to count how many gigs it lets me have, and then I'll print out the counter here. Okay, pretty simple, but before we run it, when do you think it's gonna stop? One hypothesis, it may stop around six gigabytes because this machine has about six gigabytes of physical RAM. I'm not really doing much with that memory. So maybe once I use that all up, around six gigabytes of RAM, it's going to say no more, maybe a little bit less. So that's one possibility. Or maybe the OS has a fixed limit and when I hit that limit, the OS is just gonna say, nope, you can't have any more memory. So maybe it'll happen even before six gigabytes. Or maybe it will take advantage of the fact that we're using virtual memory and it will say, hey, I can stick stuff on disk if I run out of space. And so maybe it will let me go beyond six gigabytes and use some of the disk. Okay, enough suspense, let's try it out and see. So we compile it and then we run it. Wow, maybe you didn't expect that. That's 130,000 gigabytes or 130 terabytes, which is at least 130 times the disk space that this machine currently has. So what's going on? So simply put, the operating system is lying to you. I'm serious. When you ask for a gigabyte of memory, the operating system says, sure, yeah, go ahead. You can have that gigabyte of memory. Let's see what he does with it. But it doesn't actually set aside physical memory for it until I actually try to use it. It's like when I was a kid and I told my dad that I wanted to build a 20 foot sailboat. He didn't tell me no right off the bat. He said, that's an interesting idea. That would be really fun. Why don't you draw up a plan and see what you'd need and maybe find some books. And, and in the end, the project ended up being a whole lot too big for me. And I didn't even really get started on that sailboat. Maybe someday. But the point is we didn't go out and buy a bunch of wood right up front. And so it didn't really matter that my idea was crazy. So the computer's doing the same kind of thing. You ask for memory and it says, sure, go ahead. Let's see. Let's see what they do with it. Because maybe you're one of those people that malloc's big to impress your friends, but in the end, most of that memory goes unused. So what happens if we actually use all those gigabytes? Okay, so let's move our malloc call out of the if statement and assign it to a variable. That way I can actually use the memory. And then I'm gonna add a memset down here at the bottom. Now this, if you haven't seen it before, this is just going to set all of the bytes in the block we just allocated to be one. Okay, just gonna go through byte by byte and set each of them to one. Okay, so the point is that now we're actually writing into that memory we asked for. So we asked for a bunch of gigabytes and now we're actually gonna write values into those gigabytes. And now if we compile it, oops, sorry, forgot a header. And now if we compile it, it's definitely a bit more sluggish than it was last time. And it now fails at about six gigs, which makes more sense. Now for the sake of completeness and well, not letting well enough alone, let's see if we can be sneaky and get around this. So. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to allocate all the blocks. So it's gonna let me have as basically as we saw before, it's gonna let me have as many blocks as I asked for. And then after I already have a lot of blocks allocated here, we'll let's say 10,000 gigs, right? I've allocated 10,000 gigs. Now let's try to write to them. And now if we compile and run, okay, so now our process gets killed after four gigs. So the moral of the story is don't try to do sneaky things and outsmart the OS into giving you terabytes of memory. It's not gonna end well. Actually, that's not the moral of the story, but I think we've answered the question. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you later.